are you getting slightly overwhelmed by the sheer number of SUVs on sale? We wouldn't blame you, but the BMW X3 is probably a name you're quite familiar with. Indeed, since it went on sale in 2003, BMW has shifted some one and a half million of them, and this here is the new third generation model. This time around, BMW has given it more space, it's upgraded interior quality, given it its latest iDrive infotainment system, and it's now lighter, so it's more efficient, and it should be better to drive. So is this new BMW X3 a better car to drive? Well, the old X3 wasn't exactly a bad starting point, but on balance, yes, it probably is. Here in Portugal, we've driven two different models, the range-topping M40i petrol and the three-litre diesel. But they're both very different cars. For instance, this M40i is tuned by BMW's M Sport division, and it rides on adaptive sport suspension. So it can be quite firm in town, but the way it goes around a corner is mightily impressive. And it's an engine which is putting out about 360 horsepower, means it's lightning fast and makes a great noise. However, is it the best handling car in its class? Probably not. A Porsche Macan probably still feels a little bit more agile and it certainly has more feel some steering. On balance, we probably prefer the three litre diesel. We drove it with adaptive suspension. When it's dialed back to its comfort mode, it really is quite impressive how comfortable it is. It's also a really strong engine, it's smooth, and it's quiet once you're cruising on the motorway. And you don't really lose much of the X3's handling prowess. It's certainly still one of the most exciting SUVs to drive in its class. The X3's interior has taken a real step up in quality this time around, but its iDrive infotainment system remains as good as ever. It's still the best system in the class, especially in optional professional guys you see here. The X3 will easily seat for adults in comfort, although three across the rear bench will be more of a squeeze. And its boot remains the same size as before, but it is a practical shape and it matches its main rivals for outright space. BMW is on something of a roll at the moment. Its 7 Series is an impressive luxury car, its 5 Series is our car of the year, and this latest X3 is a massive step up too. Might not have the class leading agility that BMW thinks it has, but it still handles extremely well. It's also quiet and has a really comfortable ride. Also, it's spacious, practical, and high quality inside. So, given it's priced really closely to the Audi Q5 and the Mercedes GLC, and also undercuts the Porsche Macan by quite a way, it's in with a good chance of claiming class honors once we get it back to the UK.